How to set up Google Ads tracking conversion on Shopify 2023 step-by-step -step tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking in great detail and depth about how you're going to be able to use Shopify to your benefits and lead yourself to some great Google ads tracking conversions. Okay. And this is how you can, you know, put up Google ads on your Shopify to get revenue off of your Shopify store as well, because obviously what better place is there to put on ads other than your Shopify store, because Shopify store obviously has a lot of users. Okay. If your store is successful, even if it's like a mid range store, a lot of people will visit it. And if you put up ads on it, then obviously a lot of people will see it. Some will click it, etc. So that is exactly what we're going to be talking about. That is exactly what I'm going to be setting up for you. So let's get straight into it. So to start off with this, what you're going to do is here in Shopify.com, obviously you're going to start free trial or create an account. I'm just going to go ahead and log in because I already have an account. Now, once I've gone and log in from there, what I am going to want to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead to my Google ads overview over here as well. Okay. So here's my Google ads. Here's my Shopify. Now do make sure to keep your Shopify open. We don't want to close this out right now. So right now what we're going to do, make sure you're gone into your Google ads overview, make sure you're properly signed in at all. Now, once you're signed in over here on the left hand side, you can go into goals and you're going to go into conversions. Okay. So once you open up conversions over here, you're going to obviously, first of all, go ahead and click on summary and, uh, it's going to allow you to connect some conversions. Okay. You can basically add some conversions because in conversions is where exactly we're going to connect our Shopify. Okay. So, uh, you can see the value rules, the custom variables. So basically you can create a conversion value rule from here. You can create different conversion goals. Uh, you have the settings over here where you can uh, obviously upload different conversions and then there's uploads where you can schedule different things. But obviously clearly right now we don't have any entries yet. So what we're going to do is you can add custom variables and for that you can add tag strings or just come over to valuing conversions and I'm going to go ahead and click on create conversion value. Now, first of all, you are going to choose these settings. So select condition, you can go with location or device. I'm going to go with device, go with desktop, mobile. Okay. And uh, then you can select any operation, add a value. Uh, let's say I'm going to add, we're going to click on save. And that obviously creates a conversion value for us. Now, obviously in this conversion value is where we're going to add our actual conversion. Now, after creating your conversion values, what you're going to do from there is you're going to come over to admin. Okay. And once you're in admin over here, all you're going to do is you're going to come over down to linked accounts. And once you head straight into linked accounts from there, you're just going to wait for things to load up. And over here, you're going to go ahead and add your actual linked accounts. So you can see it's going to load a lot of things up, but this is what we're after. So here it gives you details for your Shopify. So you're going to open this up and there we go. Link Shopify. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Now you can either link it through, you know, your uh, Zapier. Okay. And basically it gives you customer match on offline conversion import and lead export. I'm just going to go with this because this is much better for me. So once we do that, click on continue and uh, you're going to click on authorize and here it says create data integration. So that is exactly what we're going to do. And once you do that, it brings you to Shopify audiences. Okay. And currently it isn't compatible with my store, but all you're going to do is you're just going to click on add it to your store and it's going to directly do that. So once you do that, basically that connects your Shopify's, um, you know, uh, store algorithm with your uh, basic Shopify. And once the link is completed, you can go into the audience manager and in the audience manager, you get different asset libraries and all that you can obviously mess around with and a whole lot more. Now, after you've done that, you're going to finally come over to your goals. 
and you're going to come over to your conversions and you're going to your summary. Okay. Now, once you're over here, all you're going to do is you're going to click on new conversion action. And once you do that, basically it's going to ask you what conversion action you want to go with. I'm going to go with website. Okay. Because clearly I have a website and then you're going to add your website domain. Now over here, you're not going to add this. Okay. You're going to go over here. I'm going to go and view your online store and it's going to open up a test website. Okay. And we are going to be adding this test websites domain. So I'm just going to add it over here just for an example. Okay. So I'm going to click on scan. And once we click on scan, obviously it's going to locate this test website. And there we go. So create conversion actions from website events. You know, you can create different conversion goals. Let's go with subscribe. Okay. Event type page load, obviously, and you can click on add parameters. Uh, you're going to add your different URLs or, you know, even create your uh, purchases manually. So you get the point really simple. And uh, you are going to make sure that the proper URL is provided. Okay, don't go with uh, any different URL. I'm going to go with the purchase. Okay, I'm just going to add that. And we're going to click on add. And there you go. We just created a purchase conversion goal. You can also add a conversion manually if you want to. But that's totally dependent on you. So to create and add a conversion manually, what you can do is they're going to basically give you different code snippets that you can add into your page. And I'm going to tell you how you're going to add those code snippets into your page. I'm just going to go ahead and agree and continue right now. And it's going to give us instructions towards this page. So there we go. Now it's a setup with a Google tag. Okay, or email instructions to your webmaster. I'm just going to go ahead. A Google tag allows you to measure activity. So you're going to basically want to set this up. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, set my Google tag up just to make life easier for me. And uh, there we go. It takes us to the setup of a Google tag. You're going to go ahead and set up a Google tag by adding this code into your Shopify. So basically, just follow me. To, don't worry. It's really simple. You're going to copy this. You're going to come to your Shopify store, go to online store. Once you've gone to online store from here, you are going to take yourself down to the uh, customization. Okay. And in the customization section over here, you're going to click on these three buttons, click on edit code. And once you click on edit code, basically brings you here over here, you're going to click on theme liquid. And right here under head, right over here, you're going to click on paste and you're going to click on save. So that will automatically add a Google tag to your page. Okay. And, uh, you know, just for good measure, you can also add this under your purchase, uh, which you can find through settings. Okay. You're going to go into your payments or checkout page and over there. You can add it into the code snippet if you want to, which you can check out and manage. But obviously, that's not exactly necessary. But yeah, once you've done that, uh, we're going to come back here. I'm going to go ahead and click on test installation. And then you're going to, you know, see if it's uh, tested out. And uh, just reload your page a few more times. And trust me, it should work really simply. Even over here, it says copy and paste it in the code of your every website. Uh, immediately after the head element, don't add more than the Google tag. So yeah, you know, pretty simple. So once you've added that, that will add the conversions and then you're going to click on done and everything is going to be good to go. So that is how you're going to enable conversion measurement for your Shopify through your Google ads. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.